I'm Scorpio and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. Happy 4th of July, you guys. I hope you are being safe if you're traveling. I hope you're having safe travels out there today. So, you guys, we're going to pull some messages and we're going to see what spirit wants you to know. If anything resonates for you, Scorpio, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, also comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's go. Let me get these cards that's following. All right, Scorpio. So we have, I am thankful for taking a leap of faith, okay? So I feel like, Scorpio, at, at some point in time in life, we all had to take a leap of faith into the unknown, okay? Which means, Scorpio, that we all were set on some type of journey, some type of path that we were supposed to be on, okay? Some of these paths were our divine paths, which is going to let us know what we were here to do, okay? And some of our paths that we were on were for self-love, self-discovery, okay? We've all had different paths, okay? Now, when we signed to take this journey, Scorpio, we didn't know what all was going to be on each path, okay? We just told Spirit we was going to take this leap of faith, and we was going to see what happened, right? A lot of us, the leap of faith that we took, Scorpio, okay, we had to learn to be leaders, okay? And we had to learn, Scorpio, that we were going to have to lead by example, which means we had to watch everything that we do. We had to learn. We had to take classes. We had to train to become this powerful leader because people were going to be watching us, okay? And we were going to have to lead by example here okay and i feel like doing that scorpio brought a lot of changes in our lives okay i feel like we start to change from the inside out because when you change on the inside it shows on the outside okay i feel like a lot of you went through changes to where even your appearance started to change okay your physical appearance maybe you start to lose weight you start to eat more healthier you start to exercise you start to watch the food that you were consuming because you realize everything that we put in our body is not good for us, okay? You start to see the changes around the world and you start to recognize what was going on, okay? You were awakened to everything. And I feel like that caused a lot of change within yourself. It caused a lot of change within how you think, your thought process. You know, when, when people talk, you start to become more active listeners okay you start to pay attention to people's energies the way people moved i feel like a lot of things that you went through scorpio taking a leap of faith it brought about a lot of changes in your life okay it also brought about the ability to love okay a lot of us scorpio went through some shit but we were broke down you know what i'm saying we were broken hearted still broken hearted still going through heartache and pain still trying to recover from some type of loss caused love okay or called love but i feel like scorpio on this path taking a leap of faith baby we're going to have the ability to love again, okay? We also had to learn to be an example because a lot of us are different. The way we look is different. The way we talk is different. The way we think is different. You know what I'm saying? The way we dress is everything that we do is different. You know what I'm saying? We had to accept, first of all, that we were different. Because sometimes being different, you know, you want to fit in. But we had to learn that baby, we don't fit in. You know what I'm saying? You can't put us in a box. Because we're not no box type people, okay? You had to understand and accept that you were different, okay? And also the information, a lot of us, this path that we took, we learned a lot of knowledge, a lot of information, okay? A lot of the information was for us, and a lot of the information was for us to pass on to other people to help them on our journey, okay? So taking this leap of faith, Scorpio, helps us become very resourceful, okay? We're going to be people that other people are going to call to when they need help, when they need advice when they need guidance, okay? And that's why we had to go through these changes, Scorpio, because we were going to have to lead by example. We were going to have to, all everything that we're speaking, baby, we're going to have to walk the walk, okay? We're going to have to talk the talk, and we also was going to have to walk that walk because people were going to be watching us, okay? All right, Scorpio, so let's get into this energy then, baby. 
messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpios? I ain't sure. She's Scorpio. You see that? <laughs> messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpios at this time? I love you, Scorpio. And if anything is resonating for you guys, don't forget to like this video, okay? I'm going to try to give y'all some videos today. Try to tap into the twin. If I don't get to the twin flames today, I would definitely get to it on Thursday. I'm trying to set aside one particular day to focus on twins or a couple of days. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Energies for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What type of energy? All right. Ooh, okay. So Scorpio, this could be you or someone in your energy back. Is it someone in your energy? Okay, is putting this dingling. They putting that cootie cat on lockdown. Okay, so what that means, Scorpio, is someone is no longer wanting to have sex with someone, or someone could be thinking about being celibate here. Okay, someone could be thinking about being single. You know what I'm saying? Not having sex with nobody, but especially not having sex with someone in particular here. Okay. All right, and we have keep your business to yourself, Scorpio. This talks about your dreams, your goals, your business plans, ideas, plans, and thoughts. You guys, this energy has been coming out a lot. I don't know what you guys got going on. You're possibly sharing it with the wrong damn people, okay? Keep your business to yourself. The Spirit is blessing you with information. You know, we have to learn to use discernment, Scorpio. A lot of times, Spirit will give us messages that we are supposed to share, okay, with other people. And then sometimes, Scorpio, you're supposed to keep that shit to yourself. It wasn't meant. For you to go tell your sister, brother, cousin, and all them. You know what I'm saying? Look at this, Scorpio. We have abundance. I feel like on this journey, Scorpio, you taking this leap of faith, baby, is going to leave you very abundant in the end, okay? And what this means, Scorpio, is material, which means money, baby, and spiritual wealth, okay? This talks about all the joy, happiness, and peace, and love, Scorpio, that you can have in your whole life. How, what you think about that, okay? Then we have an air sign, okay? This could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. This air energy has been heavy in the past two days, too, okay? There's an air sign in your energy, Scorpio, that is thinking about the past, okay? I feel like this person's thinking about this past connection that they share with you. I feel like this person's thinking about what happened in the past between you and this person, okay? So let's pull some more. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What type of energy is around my beautiful Scorpios at this time? And then we'll clarify, okay? Oh, Scorpio, I see unexpected money. Messages for my Scorpios. What, uh, what other energies are around my beautiful Scorpios at this time? I'm not going to take this Scorpio. What energies are around my beautiful Scorpios at this time? All right, Scorpio. Ooh. Okay, so Scorpio, you can be finding out something on social media, possibly about this air sign or someone that you dealt with from your past, okay? And someone, Scorpio, could be wondering, do you still love them, okay? So there was someone in your energy, Scorpio, that you used to love, used to be crazy in love about, okay? But I feel like, Scorpio, because this is someone who didn't handle you right in the past, okay? This is someone who wanders down. Do Scorpio even still love me? Let's put a little bit more. All right, look at this. This is someone that wants to start over in this connection, okay? They're thinking about the past, Scorpio, okay? And they know, Scorpio, they didn't treat you right in the past, okay? Now this person wants to start over. But they wonder, like, damn, how am I going to start over in a connection with Scorpio when I don't even know if Scorpio still want me, okay? But look at this. This is someone, Scorpio, that wants to talk. This is someone, Scorpio. Look at this. Ooh, look at this. Scorpio, this is someone that loves you, okay? And this is why this person wants to know, Scorpio, do you still love me? Because I love you. You know what I'm saying? This is someone that wants to talk. And this is someone, Scorpio, that wants to start over in this connection. Okay? I feel like this person wants to rewrite this love story. You know what I'm saying? They, they want to rewrite this script between you guys because the damn script wasn't right, Scorpio. Okay? The shit didn't play out the way this person expected. Okay? All right, you guys. I do got this now. Okay. So who is this person, Holy Spirit, that's thinking about putting this cootie kid or this dangle line on lockdown, okay? <laughs> Messages for my Scorpios. I fucking love you, Scorpio. You best believe you, girl, Blue Flame love you. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Who is this person that's thinking about putting this cootie kid or this dangle line on lockdown? One more show, y'all. 
Who is this person, Holy Spirit? Tell us about putting this D or this P on lockdown. Who is thinking about no longer having sex with someone, Holy Spirit? Who is this person? Okay. We have the Ace of Swords here, okay? All right, some of you guys hear air energy again, okay? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Now, you guys know the Ace of Swords has to do like with that double edge sword here, okay? I feel like this is someone here that is, is thinking a lot here about something, okay? Thinking about the past, thinking about something here. This is someone who... I feel like this is someone who's going through a lot, okay? Because this represents the mind, this represents words, and this represents willpower here, okay? This is someone who does not like to tap into their feelings and emotions, but I feel like this is someone who's thinking about the past. And maybe in the past, Scorpio, this person really wanted to open up to you. They really wanted to talk to you, confess to you how they really felt, but they didn't do it, okay? This is someone that thinks more rationally than they do logically, okay? So this is someone who say they like, had another connection, right? If, if this person was with someone else, Scorpio, just say, okay, let's say this person met you somewhere, okay? And they already was involved with someone else. But it was like that chemistry, that attraction, that energy they got from you, Scorpio, they was like, damn, I don't even get this from this motherfucker back home. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this person was contemplating like, damn, should I fuck with Scorpio? You know what I'm saying? Or should I just try to make this work with this person? Me and this person, we have been together a long time. Like, it's always up and down. It's always some bullshit. But I feel like this person had to think long and hard about a decision okay and this is why they're thinking about the past okay and the decision that they made scorpio because i feel like they made a decision that was more rational and more logically i feel like they took a long time to think about a choice to think about something here okay but i feel like they they made like a head over heart decision here okay tell us more about the ace of swords holy spirit so this is someone who I felt like they were dealing with someone else, Scorpio, okay? And whoever this person was that I feel like they chose over you, okay? Now they're no longer sexually interested in this person. They're not even attracted to this person. They only want to have sex with this person, okay? But they're thinking about how they didn't open up to you in the past, okay? Tell us about the Ace of Swords, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us about the Ace of Swords the world i feel like scorpio you've been since i feel like you guys have possibly separated from this connection i feel like the wheel has started to turn in your favor here okay and as the wheel starts to turn in your favor scorpio you're becoming more abundant i feel like you guys have freed yourself from a lot of people that no longer served you including this per person here okay i feel like scorpio you could have had a lot of toxic people or a lot of people that were really holding you down keeping you from progress and they're becoming, you know what I'm saying, the person who you were meant to be here, okay? And I feel like, Scorpio, once you took this leap of faith and you took this path, you took this journey, Scorpio, in the end, this is how you feel. You're going to be feeling on top of the world. You're going to be feeling so free. You're going to be having a lot of good things coming your way, Scorpio, because luck is going to be on your side, all because you took this leap of faith, okay? Okay, some of you could be dealing with an uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, or we have... Uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, so tell us about thinking about the past. Who is this person, Holy Spirit, that is thinking about the past, and what are they thinking about? Messages for my Scorpio. Who is this person that's thinking about the past, Holy Spirit, and what is this person thinking about? Four of Pentacles. Scorpio, they're thinking about how stingy, and how stubborn they were being, okay? This could have been a Taurus you guys were dealing with in particular. This is someone, Scorpio, that was holding on, okay? Holding on to somebody, Scorpio, that they need to be holding on to, okay? Versus taking a leap of faith towards you, Scorpio, and, and just seeing, like, what a connection would really be like with you. I feel like someone was really stuck in their head, like, you know what I'm saying? What am I supposed to be doing? But they were being stubborn. I feel like the universe was trying to help this person. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. This is Capricorn, you guys. I feel like the universe is trying to help this person, show this person, like, go towards Scorpio. But this is someone who was very selfish as well. Very stubborn, selfish as hell, okay? Thinking that they knew everything, thinking that what they were, they were doing was best, okay? But they were holding 
own, okay? Refusing to not let go. And this is someone that was unwilling to move or budge, okay? To come towards you. And I feel like they were also emotionally cold. So I'm like, whoever this is, Scorpio, this is someone that's thinking about the past and how they never opened up to you and how they were holding on to this other situation here, okay? For some of you guys, that could have been seeing you with their finances as well, with these pinnacles. But I feel like it was like a community or they had people like maybe their family or people in their community. I feel like there was, that was in this person's ear. You guys see like this community, like they could have been very close to like people in their neighborhood or people in their community here. And they could have talked, you know what I'm saying, to people about this situation. And and I feel like they took their advice from wrong people. You know what I'm saying? They were just being stingy and stubborn with their time here, with their energy, with their time, with their love, everything, okay? Oh, so this person is thinking about the past, Holy Spirit, and, I mean, Scorpio, and how they were not budging, how they did not move, how they didn't come towards you, how they emotionally closed off, like how they just basically did everything fucking wrong, okay? Tell us about I want to talk, Holy Spirit. Who is this person that wants to talk to my Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. Who is this? Dang, it's three of swords. It's Libra. Some of you guys, this could be someone that's going or that has went through a lot of heartache and pain. Okay, you and this person used to communicate or y'all could have communicated a lot at nighttime here. But this is someone that has experienced like some type of betrayal or someone that has been cheating on them, someone that did, that did them wrong, or maybe this person wants to talk to you about this heartache and pain that they were experiencing, okay, and why they never opened up to you, why they were so closed off. Tell us about, tell us more about the Three of Swords, Holy Spirit. What does this person want to talk to my Scorpios about? Tell us about the Three of Swords, Holy Spirit. What do they want to talk to Scorpio about? You, <laughs> Scorpio, this person wants to talk to you about you, okay? I feel like the how they saw you surrender and how they watched you take this leap of faith and how they watched you become an example and how they watched you just enjoy being different. Like, you fully embraced yourself as this queen of cups, okay? And they say they saw how you love yourself, Scorpio, how you nurtured yourself. And I feel like how you also heal, healed yourself. But this is like someone here is, Surrender, and I feel like this connection, like you, you had to definitely surrender this connection, okay? You had to let go and just give it to God and be like, you know what, Lord? I don't know what the hell going to happen, but I'm just going to give this to you, okay? What, are they, what can my Scorpios find out on social media, Holy Spirit? Tell us about finding out something on social media. I feel like, Scorpio, you have spiritual gifts, okay? You're very psychic as well okay i feel like you're an empath you guys could be a homebody you like taking care of people tell us about finding out something on social media holy spirit oh shit tell us about the hangman holy spirit tell us about the hangman Okay, so someone here, I feel like, is going to use their intuition, okay? Someone here, I feel like their intuition, like I said, they've been neglecting their intuition the whole time. But you're going to find out that someone here has relinquished this control, okay? Because someone here, in the last reading, it talked about someone here was still trying to hold on to control, and they were refusing to let go, okay? So whatever this situation is, okay, you're going to find out on social media, possibly you guys, that they have let go of whoever this person was, the situation that they were refusing to let go of, okay? Let's look at this hangman in reverse right here. Yeah, this is someone who they were struggling to maintain control of a situation, maybe struggling to maintain control of their feelings, okay? Some of you guys, maybe this person would tell you on social media that they love you, you know what I'm saying? Some of you guys, first may just blurt out, you know what I'm saying? I love such and such, you know? But this is someone who I feel like they're ending that period of being indecisive and they're going to let go, okay? And this is someone that's trying to use their intuition, okay? Trying to let their 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 mind and heart be at sync and guide them, okay? And some of you guys, you're going to find out that they possibly have ended a situation, but it's going to be on social media, okay? So some of you guys, maybe their ex is going to be going to fuck off on social media, okay? 
Tell us more Holy Spirit about this hangman. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us about this hangman. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. It doesn't have to be. Yep. Ooh, look at this, Scorpio. We got the king and the queen of cups, Scorpio. This is talking about twins, you guys. This is your divine counterpart, okay? Some of you guys, you have been waiting for your divine counterpart, okay? And this person is going to come towards you guys, okay? And some of you guys, you're going to find out about how this situation ended for your divine counterpart on social media, okay? We have the justice card here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra, okay? But this person wants to balance out the scale, Scorpio, okay? I feel like some of you guys, like this could be a legal matter that you can be finding out about on social media as well. Like someone here can just put ear, like put all their business on social media here, okay? Oh, for some of you guys, this could be an unfair outcome, okay? Some of you guys, you can find out on social media like this person has possibly lost everything, okay? Whoever this uh, third party that they're dealing with, like you guys can find out like this person left them with absolutely nothing. Tell us about justice, Holy Spirit. Look at that message. Tell us about justice, Holy Spirit. Tell us about justice. Look at this. But this person, Scorpio, is going to, they're going to lose a lot. With this strength card, it's going to take a lot, Scorpio, for this person, okay? This is someone I feel like that's going to suffer from low self-esteem. They're going to feel very weak. You know what I'm saying? But this is someone I feel like the universe is going to force this to happen. Like, whatever this ending, ending is, like, something major is going to happen. It's going to force this, okay? But it's going to cause someone to be in this energy, okay? Some of you guys, this could be a Leo, but they're going to be very weak. I'm telling you, something's going to be exposed on social media about this third-party situation, okay? Especially once this connection has ended. When this person decides to let go, I feel like something's going to be exposed, okay, on social media about this connection, you guys, okay? Let's see who this reading is about. Let's get my who that. Okay, so let's see who this reading is about. Messages for my Scorpio. What Scorpio? This one was 22. The other one was 17. I said these are going to be shorter. And they've been longer. Who is this reading about for my Scorpio child experience? Who is this reading about for Scorpio? Okay. All right, so Scorpio, this is about, I hate this keep coming out, someone who wears cowboy hats. Cowboy boots and hats still coming out yesterday. This could be about a young female. This could be about a pretty boy, pretty Ricky, what they call them. <laughs> this could be about someone that has a visible birthmark. This could be someone 18 to 20. Or this could be about someone 25 to 30, Okay. And let's see the signs. What signs is this reading about for my Scorpio? Scorpio, we got Aquarius, Heavy Virgo, Aries. We got Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Sag. And we also have Aquarius, Sag, and Heavy Leo, you guys. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have. I love you. And until next time, baby, stay blessed.